are concerned about someone who might be, we are here to help. If you are a U.S. military veteran or current service member or are calling about one, please press 1 now. Otherwise, please hold on while we route your call to the nearest crisis center in our network. Your call is being routed. Please hold. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, hi. Hi, um, I was just wondering if you could give me some advice because I think I'm in a sexually abusing relationship and I'm not sure what to do. Really? Um, how old are you? I'm 17. Um, I have a few uh, resources I can give you. Um, oh, no, I was wondering if I could just speak to you. Okay, what would you like to talk about? Well, um, basically I met someone and he's called Stephen and we've been in a relationship for three years and it was all going really well. My name's Kim and we was and I and basically we was I'm sorry did, did, did you say your name was Kim? Yeah my name's Kim. Mm -hmm. And me and Stephen well we are, I really happy and I accidentally lost it and ever since he's always blamed me and I don't know what to do anymore because first of all it just started with him shouting things at me and then the longer it got it, it, he, he started hitting me and telling me it was all my fault and how he really wanted a baby and I lost his baby and then he started calling me dead baby Kim and I don't know what to do anymore well, you know, there's there's no reason that you have to put up with any kind of abuse, so... But I love him. I feel like he's perfect. And he's... Uh, sorry. sorry, and he tells me that he doesn't mean it. I know, but I just feel like it is my fault because I was... The baby was in me and maybe I wasn't looking after it well enough because I went through a bad stage and I was doing, like, MDMA and... And cook, and I just, you know, I was just going through a bad time, and I didn't think it would affect the baby how it did. How old is your baby? It's. It's that. Sorry? I think in misunderstanding, the baby's died. Mm hmm. How did that happen? It died before I could come, before I could have the baby. Oh, I see. Trimester, where you went? I was, I think I was about um, 16 weeks. Hmm. How long ago was that? I think it was, when I was 16. And it just gradually got worse, but the thing is, Stephen's such a perfect boyfriend. He buys me flowers, he remembers my birthday. And everything's fine, except it's just there, and he's got... And I don't know, I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't understand. What, what, what don't you know what to do? What's confusing you? I don't know whether to stay with him or not, because he hits me, and and he blames oh. me, and he shouts at me, because the baby, uh, my, our baby's died. So, um, that must have devastated you. Yeah, yeah, I don't, and the thing is, my family, they've like, because I'm, I'm Asian and my family didn't approve of Stephen because he dropped out of college and, and, 
I live with him now, and I, if, if I leave him, I've got no one else. I feel like my family out there for me. I'm 17. How old are you? I'm 17. Me? I'm 17. Right. Are you in school? Uh, yes, I'm in college, but I've, I, it was all good when I was living at home with my family, but when I met Stephen, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't approve of him because because he's white and my parents are racist. Say that again. My parents didn't approve of my boyfriend because I'm Asian and they always wanted me to have Asian babies and he's ginger and he's white and they just they didn't they didn't approve and they kicked me out. Ah. And now I don't know what to do because I feel like I can't leave him. I feel like he's all I've got left. Well, and he blames me for the before. death of my baby. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you willing to do? What? Are you willing to do something about it? I don't know, because I feel like whatever I do, I've got no one. I've got no one in the world. I go to a college where everyone's English and Polish, No, and I'm the only Chinese person, and I'm the outcast. Hmm. I sometimes feel like I want to kill him, but I just I don't know what to do. Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. What do you think I should do? Because I'm only well, 17 and if I, I leave, he's my only support because... The thing is, I think I'm he's just... cheating on me. Because there's this girl called Luster and I've seen messages between Luster and I just think that... I don't think I'm attractive to him anymore. Well, so why don't you start taking care of yourself then? That would be a great place to start. Taking care of myself? You think I'm yeah. ugly? Did I? What? Pardon me? I'm not ugly. I try my best. I don't have that much money. <laughs> Again, I'd say, me. Why, don't, why don't you start from uh, by taking care of yourself and um, trying to uh, get to a safe place. I go to the gym four days a week. Are you laughing mm. at me? This is a serious problem and I don't know what to do. And um, Why are you laughing you, at me? You just take care of yourself. I do you take care of myself. <laughs> I'm not ugly. Is it because I'm, I told you I'm Asian so you think I'm ugly? Hmm. And also, um, then you could um, maybe get over this grieving of losing your child. I would, but he keeps bringing it up and calling me dead baby Kim. Sorry? He keeps bringing the baby up it, because it should be one year old today, and I just I don't know. So it's hard to get over it when he's always reminding me. And when the only person I feel like I've got in life is is cheating on me with someone called Luster. And he's beating you too. I think so. But I can't leave him. I've got no one else. Who are you talking to? What? No one. Who are you talking to, Kim? Who are you talking to? No one. Who are you talking to? No one, honestly. I'm just talking... I rang my dad. I, I heard a guy. Who's the guy you're talking to? Who's the guy? It's, it's just my dad. It's my dad. It's his birthday today. Who are you talking to? It's my dad. Remember, it's his birthday today. <laughs> Leave me alone. Are you cheating on me, you fucking bitch? It's my dad. Who, who is 
who's that guy? Yo, yo, who's this? It's my dad. Yo, who's this? You know it's my dad, Steven. Yo, who are you? It's my dad. Shut up, let me talk to him. Who's this? Yo, who are you? Hello? Yo, Ticket, who are you? This is a suicide uh, prevention line. Suicide prevention? What did you tell him that? Yes. Uh, I know, it was my dad, it was, I promise, it was just I my dad. I told you to the fucking pills. You think I want the baby with you? You fucking dead baby Kim. I will kick the baby. I know you're cheating on me with someone called Buster. Yes, I know you're cheating on me. I know you're cheating on me. You're fucking room. You're cheating on me with someone called Luster. You don't think I've seen the text? You don't want to be You don't think I've seen the text of you asking him to suck your dick? Just because I will suck your dick. <laughs> Don't <laughs> ask gag me for like, shut up. You're asking other girls to suck your dick. You're having a go at me. My dick is big and needs to be sucked. What, what, what am I supposed to do? It's our baby. It should be our baby's first you birthday. You can't handle it. <laughs> you're a dickhead. Who are you? You're a suicide line. I was suicide missing fucking line, you dickhead. Yo, pussy. Yeah, you're a dickhead. Yes, you're on. Yes, you're on. Yes, you're on.